In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a popping out effect like this in Photoshop. It's where you take an, uh, a person or an item and you have them popping out of a shape to create a cool little 3D effect where some areas are contained and other areas are not. So let's get into it. So I've got this guy here and he's just a, a picture I found on pexels.com. And I'm gonna to wanna to basically pop into a circle or a square or something and have him popping out of it. So the way it works is first of all, I need to cut this guy out. So I've selected the layer that he's on. And if you don't see your layers palette, head to Windows and Layers to turn it on. And what we're gonna do is, if we've got a basic clean background, we can just simply use Select Subject. Um, if you have trouble using the Select Subject tool I'm about to use, there is a link below in the description. It'll show you how to cut someone out using the pen tool so you have a bit more control over what gets cut out. But for the sake of getting through the process, we're gonna to go to Select and Subject to create a selection of our person. Like I said, if you wanna, if you have trouble, this doesn't work for you, check out the video below and you learn how to use the pen tool to cut people out more precisely. Uh, but now I've got them selected, I'm gonna go down to our little mask button here on the layers panel. So a little square with a circle in it. I click that and he's now cut out. Now there's a few things here that we might wanna fix up. First of all, um, there might be a bit of an edge. If I turn this off, maybe there's a bit of an edge that doesn't appear to be. But I can go here and go to select and mask and I can shift the edge in a little bit if I want to just tighten up that selection. We can't really see a lot of it here against this background, but if I zoom right in, if I shift that edge out, you'll see we've got a bit here. I could just shift it in just to trim it off a little bit. And you can see it's come in just a little. So we're just gonna zoom out. So I'm holding down Alt at the moment using this uh, magnifying glass. And we can see everything is looking pretty good. So I click OK. Now the other thing is the stick has been cut off a bit here. So I select the mask here and I'm just going to basically get the paintbrush tool. I make sure that I have white on the upper left area so it's the primary color. And I'm gonna just harden up my brush a little bit up here by clicking on the little drop down, put the hardness up and the size up a little bit. And I'm just gonna draw that back in. And now I've just got a few other little areas to touch up. But now we're basically good to go. We've got our guy here cut out looking the way we want. The next step is to actually draw the shape we want to use to pop him into. So I'm going to actually just draw, come down here. I've got some shapes, little shape tools here, like the rectangle tool. You'll see one of these tools in this area. Just simply click and hold down to choose the shape you want to use. So we might go with something like this ellipse. I'm going to hold down shift so I get a perfect circle. And I'm gonna say we wanna cut it out about there, or we can move it afterwards. I'm gonna choose a fill for this circle. I'm gonna make it say red, or I can go here to choose a custom color. So maybe I'll actually choose something a little more cinematic like this blue color. And I'm gonna drag this circle on my layers palette underneath our subject. And now I can just hold down control or command, control or command to move this circle into position. So we've got a little bit of the stick sticking out here, the arm, the head, and then we wanna sort of tuck the rest of the body into that circle. So the way that works is I'm gonna actually duplicate this layer first, and then I'm gonna turn it off by clicking the I symbol on the left. We click down on the layer that is still active, sitting just above the circle. I hold down Alt or Option if you're on at Mac until we see this little arrow and square symbol we click that on our layer, and now the man is contained within that circle. So what I do now is I reactivate the layer above. And what I wanna do is essentially delete on my mask here, the section that's sticking out of the circle. So I'm just gonna basically get my selection tool, or you can use this polygon lasso tool here to get more precise. I just select anywhere that's underneath the areas that are sticking out. I can get as tight as I want to and just select here. Go over to my mask, make sure that the mask is selected. You'll see a little border around what is selected. We want this right black and white area to be selected. And as long as there's black on the bottom left, you can switch or you can even click to choose black. I click here and click delete. And now I have the bottom deleted. So 
we actually have our subject cut out now and looking the way we want to. Now another cool thing is if we want to adjust this even further, we can right click we can sorry, select these two layers by holding down shift, selecting both layers. I click over here and I click link layers. So I'm clicking, or I can right click on the layers themselves and click link layers. So I've linked these two layers, not the ellipse, and now I can move them around until of course I reach a point where what's cut out shows off, as you can see here. But I can do some slight repositioning if I want to, to get that where I want. The next thing I can do also is because of this here, I can right click on this one particular layer, go to blending options, and I can add in a drop shadow. So if I move that across, you see we now have a drop shadow. If I change the distance and move things around, it still stays sort of confined within that circle. So I can move and adjust my layer, my drop shadow layer here, change the angle, Blur it up a bit, click OK, and we have a nice little shadow inside that circle. So that's basically how simple that is. I also would pr probably like to crop this as close as I can. So image and crop. And I have an image now I can save as a PNG that's cut out. So I might go to File, Export, Save for Web. I choose PNG here, just under Preset, PNG 24. I make sure I have transparency ticked, and then I just adjust my image. I can resize it. Uh, once again, I have a video on saving for web if you want to use that. I can make it 500 pixels wide or whatever, and I can save my image as a PNG for use online. Or I can even add a background under this circle layer here. I can pop a background in there to sort of dress that up as well. Now, you might be just thinking to yourself, I wouldn't mind changing that shape. So I will quickly just show you how you can easily do that as well. So maybe I decide I want a rectangle. So I can draw the rectangle in here as well. Like that. Once again, I choose a different fill. Maybe this time I will go with the red. And what I can do is move that rectangle up in between to here. I'm going to turn off. So I'm holding that Alt or Option to turn off the link here. And I'm going to re-establish a link between the bottom layer and the rectangle. I'm going to turn off that ellipse and we have the same effect again in a rectangle so once it's cut out you've got the the bottom half sort of chopped off here we can also edit this to reintroduce it if we want to so draw some white in there but you sort of get the idea it's quite easy to create this popping out effect and that way if you have say a different background color just to sort of highlight it a bit so i'll choose something dark whoops turn that layer on you can see how well that works against the dark background and of course, if you want to, we can also select all three layers and then right click and group. Or in this case, I'm just gonna hit Control G. So now we have a group that we can move around. We can even convert it to a smart object, do what we want to from there. But that's essentially it. That's how you can create an object that pops out of a shape. Pretty straightforward and pretty easy. And um, it's a very cool effect that uh, is just sort of has a little bit of a touch of professionalism where you just look, it just looks like a little bit more fancy than just having an object in a shape. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Uh, also, if you want more videos like this, uh, check out my channel or subscribe for more. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.